dread this, Elizabeth. Can I do anything to help you? No, there's nothing you or I or anybody can do. It's my duty, and I will do it without complaint. Although, silently, I shall hate every minute of it. Oh, I feel as if I'm the good woman sending her man off to war. You are. will adjudicate disputes and here please to the crown whereby every villager is sworn to uphold the king's peace and raise a hue and cry against its violators we have a lot to accomplish today i will tolerate no interruptions here is a slate of grievances all this i'm afraid not we ran out of room. Every long, tedious journey must begin with the first step. Liam Wright, will you step forward and state your complaint? You're a venomous liar, Liam Wright. He's out to ruin me. That'll be enough of that. Now, what seems to be the problem? I'm but a poor farmer, my lord. Uh, poultry mainly, some livestock. Me and the missus are originally from Cork. We came across when my brother Ian died suddenly. Uh, a horse kick, right to the head. This is all very illuminating, but could you please get to the grievance at hand? Of course. Uh, last week, the missus... Stand up, Miriam. She baked you a pie, my lord. I hope you like it. I cannot accept one bite of a pie from the cook and pot of Mary Ann Rice, and your knees will go weak. That's a promise. Can we get on with this? Yes, sir, certainly. Anyway, last week, the missus... Go sit down now. The missus asked me to take 10 pounds of grain into the millers to be ground into flour, which I did. Being a trusted man, I didn't feel the need to watch every single grain be poured out. That was my mistake. When I returned, Mary Ann informed me we had only nine pounds of flour. He tried to cheat me! I did not! I will not have shouting in my court. Miller, you step forward and give your response. <coughs> Everyone in this county knows that Gabriel Drake, Liam's son, fancies my daughter Deirdre. <laughs> she rejected his demands, and now this! That's not true! It is! Enough! I have no way of proving my innocence. It's just this vile man's word against mine. That is why I wish to submit to trial by ordeal. Oh. Well, no. Ah. Ah. no, my reputation is at stake, my lord. My very livelihood. The truth will protect me from the pain, and my innocence shall be confirmed. But if I'm lying, then surely God will burn this hand as if it were dry timber. Put that away! Let this be my judge! I'm gonna need more goblets. I'm sure we're gonna be short. Well, this needs cleaning up. Where are the 
flowers. I specifically asked for flowers to adorn each end of the table. I did say that. I know I did. Lord Trenton is an old friend, my mentor, and the greatest war hero our country has. I care about what kind of impression we make on him and the reception he receives here at Covington Cross. We're going to need more goblets. Yes, Lord. Sir Thomas, is this going to be enough, sir? Yes. Well, perhaps not, will you? Let me think about it, Sherwood. Sir. Richard, please, dust yourself off. Lord Trenton will be here within moments. I have a big favor to ask of all of you. Uh, you've met Lady Elizabeth's mother, haven't you? Uh, I want you to help me out with her at the celebration tonight. And, and for the few days that she's with us. And over the next few days, I want you to, to, to show her around. Keep her occupied. You know how she can be. He's here. We're going to need more goblets. Come on. You remember my children. In my regiment, each day starts off with an inspection. You must be Almus. Yes, sir. Now, what's it like up there? <laughs> what you feed this one on? Everything. <laughs> and you must be Eleanor. Well, your father tells me that it's a pain for you to wear a dress. Well, I'll flatter myself that you wore this for me today. <laughs> Richard, correct? Yes, sir. Can you outfight your brothers, Richard? Always, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they believe you. <laughs> Cedric. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Get set. Help Lord Trenton's men with his belongings. <laughs> so let us raise our goblets high to one of England's finest. Warrior, hero, friend, his lordship, Lord Trent. You are becoming quite the accomplished liar, my friend. I, I do appreciate it, nevertheless. Tell me, my lady, was it Thomas Silvertongue that first won your heart, or was it his dashing good looks? Neither, actually. It was his impeccable good taste in women. <laughs> oh, my lady. You're striking daggers into my vanity. Am I really grown so dull that your eye wanders so? No, no, not at all, my lord. My mother is here tonight. We are now at that age where it is I who must keep my eye on her. She's staying with Lady Elizabeth for the entire week. Oh, Thomas, she's not that bad. There you are, Elizabeth. I was waiting for you at the table. I'll prepare a dish for you in one moment. Mother, I don't believe you've met Lord Trenton. No, Thomas has not had time to introduce us yet. Oh, it's all right, Thomas. I know you're frightfully busy. It is an extreme honor to meet you, Lord Trenton. The pleasure is mine, my lady. And where is Lady Trenton tonight, may I ask? Well, she should be in Canterbury, I hope. That's where I buried her. Oh, I see. Mother, shall we have something to eat? What's he doing here? Father and Mullins fought together under Trenton's command when they were young. Out of respect for Lord Trenton, Father invited him. Is it true what we hear about the Scots, that another invasion is impending? Unfortunately, yes. That's why I'm here, to recruit. It seems those damn tribesmen never lose their taste for defeat. Oh, it does my heart good to see the two of you. We had good times together, didn't we? Great times, sir. Great times. I think I'll go find myself a drink. They were out of goblets earlier, Thomas. More than two, and he'd be boring us to tears with the same old war stories. Then why did you accept my invitation? Oh, I don't know. Politics, I suppose. And the amusement I derive in watching you act as hand servant. The ale's a little flat. 
they haven't brought out the dessert. Ah, well, perhaps I can find you something from the kitchen. Please, allow us to get it. No, that won't be necessary. Thank you, Richard. Oh, we insist. Is there anything in particular you'd like to eat? Well, I don't really know what there is to choose from. Why don't we bring you an assortment? Now, these are children one can be proud of. Don't mind us, Sarah. We're only choosing a few sweets for one of our guests. Am I to assume the festivities are moving in here? Now, which one will it be? Hmm, I wonder. You're gonna get me in trouble. You two really are pigs. <laughs> We're only trying to help Father by helping <laughs> Lady Elizabeth help her mother. Yeah. Get away from me, <laughs> Batch. Don't you want to take your part, brother? That would be a big mistake. Richard's the first to help his family in its hour of need. Get him! You can play the fools, brothers. I will not participate. Notice there's nothing down here for you to test for Lady Isabel. And, well, me being the considerate brother that I am. Lady Lambert. What's happened here? She's dead. My God, it's Lady Lambert. What did you do to her? Nothing. I, I heard a scream and I ran over. What is it? He killed Lady Lambert. No! She was dead when I arrived. Sherwood? Look, he was trying to steal her necklace. No! 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 I say, hang the peasant from a tree. There'll be no executions here. Take him to my dungeon. He'll be judged by the laws of the king's court. <laughs> I'm innocent, Sir Thomas. As God is my witness. Why would anybody do this? Why? I'm so sorry to interrupt. What is it, Mother? I'm very tired, dear. I think I'd like to go home now. Would you mind very much if you went home alone? It may be a long night. I never feel comfortable riding in a coach alone at night. Besides, don't you think you're best leaving it to the men now? Not necessarily. You finish up here and I'll wait for you outside. You'd better go along. Take your mother home. We'll be fine here. I'm sorry, Thomas. Is there anything I can get you? Would you like the consolation of our friar in your time of need?
You shall take care of this matter immediately. Meaning what? The accused will stand trial in your court tomorrow. My court? A show had worked here for years. He's part of the family. Your court is in session. The crime occurred in your jurisdiction. I see no conflict. His trial will commence tomorrow.